so we're going to do kicks today. We're going to start off with a warm up. You must start all of your training with a warm up. In the dojo, we do the warm up, you do running around, you do leg lifts, punches, okay? You must make sure you're doing your warm ups and your stretches because if you don't do your warm up and then your stretches, you'll hurt yourself and we don't want to do that. So we're going to start with a warm up, some running, some legs, some punches as well, okay? Then we're going to move on to your kicks. We're going to do my Gary. We're going to do Yoko Gary Kiyagi. We're going to do Yoko Gary Kakomi. Okay. So my Gary front kick. We're going to do a side kick Kiyagi, and we're going to do Yoko Gary Kakomi side thrust kick. So you've got your snap kick and your thrust kick. We're going to work on as well. All right. If it's not in your syllabus, it doesn't matter. You can still have a go. It's always good to get practicing at the start. So let's start with our warm up. We're going to do running on the spot. So let's go. Nice and gentle to start with. Okay. And you can do this inside, in the garden, doesn't matter, all right? Okay, speeding up. Okay, if you don't want to do it on the spot, just go up and down a different room. Okay, so high knees. This doesn't have to be fast, just get those knees nice and high. Put your hands up if you want, or just try and get them up. Okay. Heel flex, so we're going behind. Okay, back to start, running up the spot. High knees. And heel flex. Okay, and stopping. Breathe. Nice big breaths. Okay, start going to start putting a few combinations in now. We're going to do knee lifts. One, two, other side. One, two. Get those knees high again. One, two, one, two. Okay. You can go a little bit quicker if you want to, but do two on each side. Okay, let's keep doing that. Next, we're going to move into adding some punches in. You want to bring your hands back every single time, otherwise your punches are going to bottom wrong side, okay? So we're going to do a knee lift, and then double punch. Knee lift, double punch. Try and get those punches on target. Okay, so not off and around, knee lift in the centre, knee lift in the centre. Okay, not too high, we're doing chew down punches, okay? So keep doing that for a little bit. So keep looking over here, it's got me instructions, okay? So we're going to do it from Kibidachi now, okay? So we need to Kibidachi, so hip width, twice hip width. Bend those knees and push them out. You need to make sure they're pushing out, if you don't, you will hurt your legs, okay? So we're going to turn to our left, yakazuki, turn to our right, yakazuki, get in that hip right in when you do it, turn, and turn, turn, and again, and again, turn, 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 okay, making sure each turn you end up in a good length of statue, front stance, if you need to check, look down and check, okay, Turning on those toes. You don't want to turn on your heels, you'll hurt your knees. Okay, yummy, and breathe. Always keep breathing, nice big deep breaths right from the bottom of your lungs. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit more into those. We're going to do Renzuki, which is a multiple punch. So it's going to be two punches again. It's going to be two to the middle, and then a Gyakazuki to the side. So we're returning just now for our twists. No, Gyakazukis. Okay, it's going to be a double punch in the middle. You've got to get your hands right on this one. Okay, so from Kibidachi, keep toes forwards, knees out. Okay, so we're going to punch right, left, turn to the left, right, Gyakazuki, back to the middle, left, right, turn to the right, to the middle, right, left, turn, middle, Turn, middle, turn. 
You want to keep your body nice and low, you don't want to be popping up in the middle, okay? Double punch, Gyakazuki. Double punch, Gyakazuki. Speed it up. Keep those shoulders down when you're doing it. Okay? Right, so really working those hips, getting those and nice and break, breaking up. Okay, so we're now going to do, we're going to start working on our kicks. Okay, we've warmed ourselves up a little bit, work on our kicks a little bit. So we're going to do our knee up again. This time we're going to come up, down, then kick out. Up, down, then kick out. Pull those toes back when you kick, okay? It doesn't have to be upright. And it doesn't have to be in keeping it actually either, just a nice comfortable stance, okay? So, knee up, down, kick. Make it nice and snappy. Knee up, down, kick. Knee up, down, kick. A bit quicker. Up, down, kick. Up, down, kick. Up, down, kick. Up, down, kick. Okay, try and keep them chewed up. If you want to go jelly down, that's fine. Make sure you're nice and warm. Up, down, kick. Up, down, kick. Okay. If that's easy for you, particularly juniors, squat down, come up, kick. Squat down, kick. Squat down, kick. Okay, so going right down. So you've got legs as parallel to the floor as you can. Okay. Good. Okay. You will find you've got one kick better than the other. All right, and try when you do the squats, try not to lean forward, you've got to go down. Okay, so you're keeping your centre of gravity in a nice straight line. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Okay, shake your legs off. Okay, so we're gonna do some stretches. We're gonna start from the top, work our way down. So head up and down, nice and slowly back, nicely deep to the chin, okay. Now over the shoulders, looking as far as you can go. Breathing deeply as you do it. Ears to shoulders. So stretching down the side of our necks when we do it. Okay, so this round. Okay, the other way. arm across and as you turn pull the arm across push that hip for other hip forward slightly you'll get a deep stretch across your arm okay change arms not to turn your wrists whilst you're doing it that's fine okay so now up over the top you want to try and keep your head up don't let your head fall forwards okay pulling back so you're stretching down the back of the arm Change arms, pulling on the elbow so you feel the stretch. Okay, little circles with your shoulders, keep your elbows bent to start with. Okay, and backwards. If you're in it, your computer's on your games, you might find you click a little bit doing this. Make sure those shoulders are back, squeezing those shoulder blades together when you go backwards. Okay, going forwards, nice big circles. Try and brush your ears when you go past. Okay. So now go backwards. As if you're doing backstroke in the, in the swimming pool. Okay. Okay. Shake your arms off. Right. So hands on your hips. Arm up at the top and lean to the side. Don't lean forwards. Make sure you go sideways, like between two panes of glass, okay? Feel that stretch down the side. Drop the arm. And change the other side. Over. Drop the arm. Okay, coming up. It's round. Little circles to start with. Okay, gradually getting bigger. Really big hips. Try and keep your head in the centre if you can. Try not to do that. Okay, nice big circles. 
the other way, because it's not small. Gradually get bigger. Okay, give it a shake off, shake your legs. Okay, just do nice stretches. You bring your knee up to the knee, up to your chest. Squeeze it in as tight as you can, okay? Bend that supporting leg and you'll, you won't wobble too much. Okay, squeeze it in. Now, holding onto the ankle or the foot. What you want to do, you want to stretch the front. Okay, so pull that right in at the back. Push your hip forward and you feel the stretch right down the front. Okay. Back up to the front, squeeze it in again. Okay, this time out to the side. Again, pull that foot back so you're getting that hip forward. Because when we move on to doing the washer goes, you need to make sure it comes out to the side. Okay, and back down to the floor. Other leg. Bring it up. In as tight as you can. Okay, if that's all you can get to, that's fine. But make sure you're stretching out the back. Okay. Hold the foot. Take it to the back. Again, push that hip forward. Get that stretch down the front. Bring it up to the front again. Okay, now take it out to the side again. Push that hip forward. So you're squeezing your lats to get that up. Keep it down. And shake your legs off. Okay, so we're going to move on to our kicks. Start with my Gary. It's the first kick everybody learns. All right. So we're going to do it as a nice snap kick. You can do it as a thrust. And then you really need to get those hips moving in. We're going to do my Gary snap kick, so my Gary Kiyagi. Okay. Start off with feet hip width apart. All right. Before we do, if you need a drink, have a drink. That's the beauty of being at home. Okay. So hip, feet hip width apart. Bring your knee up, just like we did in the warm up. Okay. Make sure comes up quickly, okay, quick as you can, okay, and the other leg, bring it up, again, remember what we said, the higher the knee, the higher the kick's going to be, okay, bring it up, bring it up, and the other leg, up, up, try and keep those feet flat to the floor and pulling those toes back, okay, up, up, okay, speed it up, Two. This is what we did at the start in the warm up. On two, yeah? Okay. So, doing it from Zenka to Dachi now. Alright, so don't worry about the arms. Generally out at the sides because we're doing a kick. So, both hands up, snapping down. Try and keep this knee straight. Okay, don't let it fall in. Okay, push that knee out so it stays nice and stable. So, we're going to bring our back knee up. Okay, and again. So, do it nice and slowly. One, and back, up, and back, up, and back, and a little bit quicker, up. Always pushing it backwards for now, okay? Okay, change legs, up, and down. So again, keeping this knee nice and stable. Up, and back, up, and back, up, and back. Okay, a little bit quicker. One, two, three. Okay, so we've done it from natural stance. We've done it from Zenka to statue from front stance. All we've done is lift our leg at the moment. You've got to get that foot up. If you don't get it up, you won't get a good kick. Okay, so when we kick, knee comes up, and then we kick out. Bring it back, and then we're going to step forwards. Okay. Up, out, back, and down. All right? So. And up, out, back, down. Remember to pull those toes back. Up, out, back, down. And then change to the other leg. Up, and then up, out, back, and down. Okay. Up. Out and 
and down. Make sure it comes back to the knee. Okay. And again. Good. Okay, so I've got chairs at the moment. So what we're going to do in the dojo, we've got people that you can target against. At home, you might not. So I've got chairs and a belt. Okay, so we're going to tie it together. You're going to have to be careful that you don't knock the chairs over. All right? So tie it nice and tightly across so it's fairly level. Okay, because that's not step over it. So you don't want it too high. Okay? So also the little you are, the lower it is. And if you're not flexible, again, have it nice and low. So, start off with our knee lifts. When you lift your knee, does your foot come above the belt? If it comes to there, it's not going to be any good. So make sure it comes up and over. Okay, and if you need to hold on to something, then do. Up. Okay. From the Venkat Sadachi. Bringing it up. Does it still? Because obviously our supporting leg is bent now. Okay. Does it still come up over the belt? Not to kick, bring it back and land. Okay. And of course, when you step back, don't fall over the belt. Let's try the other leg. So, knee up. Is it above your belt? And down. So stepping into Zenkuts. Bring that back leg up. Supporting leg is bent. Be still over your belt. All right? So, up, kick, and down. When you land, okay, don't lean forwards. Keep that back nice and straight. Okay. Another thing you can do is... Fasten it a little bit higher. All right. Obviously, it depends on how high your chairs are. Tie it on. Excuse me. Okay. Make sure it's nice and tight. And that's your target. So, kicking. Okay. Kick. You can do this with all of the kicks we're going to do. Use it as a target. Okay, so when we don't move into Kibidachi, we're going to do our Kiyagi. Kick. Okay, so you're actually kicking that target and then landing. All right, so you can use it for those. All right, so it's a great way to be able to practice a target kick and make sure you're getting that foot right the way up. Okay, so moving on to our. Yoko Gary Kiyagi side snap kick. Okay, we want to make sure it's nice and snappy. Okay, we use it in Heian Nida when we move into our back kick. Okay, so we do a Kiyagi to the back. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off like we did on the My Garys with our knees coming up, and we're going to do from the side. Okay, don't worry too much about your stance at the moment. All you want to do Pick that knee up, okay? Bring it up to the knee. Foot up to the knee, okay? You want to try and keep the side of your foot parallel to the floor when it comes up, all right? So, up, and now the other leg. Up, up, okay? It feels very similar for some people who've done um, Teki Shodan. It feels very similar to Namayashi, okay? A leg, inside leg block, okay? Bringing it up. Your knee is pointing out, okay, because it's going the direct, your foot is going to go the direction of your leg, all right? So, to bring it up, knees out to the side, all right, and then snap, all right? Then knee up, snap, and back again, like we do with my Gary, coming back, bring the foot up, out, back to the knee before you land, okay? So, into Kibidachi. Okay, again, pushing those knees out, back nice and straight, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Step across, bring the foot up and down. Don't kick yet. Step across, foot up, step down. Okay. So once more, step across, foot up and down. In to keep it actually, try and keep nice and low. Okay, and then add your kick in. So this time, we're going to add our kick in. 
Okay. Back to both sides. Come across. Kick. And then down. Step across. Knee up. Out and down. Doing it nice and slowly and then gradually build up speed. Okay. So. Across. Out. Across. Out. Okay. Use your arms to keep your tail stable. Change legs. Step across. Out. Step across. Out. You're using the side of your body, you're squeezing your lats in to get that height. Okay. Step across. Kick. Kick. Nice and snappy. Okay. So this time, moving on to Yokogeri Kakomi. Same again as we did with my Gary, and same as we did with our Kiyagi in the knee up. But this time, the knee doesn't come to the side, it comes to the front, okay? Because although you're doing a side kick, it comes up to the front, you've got to twist on that foot, it's on the floor, all right? So I'm going to knee up and down, up and down, all right? When it's up, twist, quarter turn. See, foot's going from forwards to sideways. Okay, so up, twist. Up, twist. Okay, you've got to get that twist on your foot. So then when you come in and kick, you're turning on that foot. The further you can turn around, the better. Okay. So knee up and thrust. And you're pushing your hip over and you're pushing your foot through. You must keep looking at that foot though. Okay, so then up and down. Up and down. Okay, so this time, up and twist. Okay, remember that twist. Up, twist. Okay, so this time, we're going to keep it at you. So, step across. Still going to have to twist on that foot. Knee up, it's in front of you. Twist on that bottom foot, kick out and down. Okay? Change legs. Step across, knee up, twisting on that bottom foot and down. You will find yourself tipping a little bit more on this one, but you want to try and keep your body as upright as you can. Okay, so step across, knee up, kick, and then don't fall. Okay, so step across, knee up, kick, and down. Always looking where you're kicking. All right, so change the other leg. This is a slower kick. Got to twist that foot back. Good. Okay, so practice both of those. The more you get to practice that in, the quicker it'll be, the better it'll be. All right, use the target, use those techniques. All right, make sure you do your at the start, make sure you do a stretch, and at the end, make sure you do a stretch. Okay, same we do at the start, top to bottom. Okay, so hope you got something from that. Good luck with it, and we'll see you soon. Plus.